I know the feeling. No, I've had yeah. a few uh, trade shows and uh, easy to just to get, uh, uh, yeah, burnout or anyhow, ca caught up on uh, catching up on things. Yeah. Well, I've been, I was in, uh, I was in Asia for about eight or nine days, home for a couple days and back on the road. And I was in Europe yesterday. I uh, just got back, just landed late last night from um, Zurich and I'm at it. Uh, back at it ready to rumble so i had a chance to get to uh uh to your site oh, great. do some videos and um so yeah so i'm i'm i'm, I'm uh, prepared and ready ready to rumble. all right um so you know just for everybody out there that doesn't know exactly how this works um you know welcome to pitch investors live and i look forward to hearing your pitch so you know i think because i've had a chance to uh, see you and listen to you already. Um, those that haven't, you know, would like to give them an opportunity to kind of hear it from the beginning, because it's this this presentation that you're making to me is live on the internet, mm -hmm. and it's also being shared with folks that are out there, um, maybe looking to invest, maybe have some connections, mm -hmm. you know, open up their rolodex. I mean, uh, you know, that's what we all sure. do as sharks, et cetera, et cetera. So. So let's um, let's just start. Give, give, tell us your name, your business, the product, um, you know, the positioning. Yeah. Take a like a two, two minute, uh, two to no more than three minutes, and then we'll do some Q and A. Sure. And take it from there. Sure. Sure. Well, okay. well, I'm a I'm a science guy, so I'm going to talk about the science because that that's what I like. But my name is Bill Bergen. Uh, the company is Soggy Food Sucks. The product is a, a, a peel and stick patch. It's, it's called the crunch patch. It goes into any food container. Uh, so we've all had food delivery where our food arrives uh, wet and gross uh, just from condensation that forms inside the container. And this patch uh, extracts that moisture from the air and it keeps your food quality. Uh, what, what do you expect? Your French fries show up, uh, your chicken wings, it shows up the way, the way you want, the way you want them when you want to eat them. Uh, so often your food shows up again, wet with condensation, gross, and you throw it away. And so um, this product, like I said, it's a peel and stick patch. Uh, it goes into any food container just like this. Um, to use it you, remove yep. it, you remove it from the freezer, you remove the backing, exposing the adhesive, and then you adhere it to the inside surface of any food container. Uh, now, people are generally, um, you know, they question the idea, well, why does it have to come from the freezer? And that's because the way it works is you insert this device below the dew point temperature. The dew point temperature being the temperature at which water in the gas state starts to change to the liquid states. And that's what we want. We want to force this moisture out of the air. So we do that by introducing this, this localized uh, cold spot in the container. So, so now the condensation is, is extracted from the air locally and then wicked into the absorbent structure where it's trapped away from the food. And so there is ice suspended in this product, uh, in the structure. And when that ice melts, of course, intuitively, we know it absorbs heat. But most people don't understand the, the nuances of thermodynamics where, where when condensation forms, it releases heat. And so what we have here is heat being absorbed and heat being released. Um, in, in a manner that's balanced. So this product will work on hot food or cold food. It has no influence on the temperature of the food. So I, I use it. For let, me, let me make sure I un understand the, the science part sure. of this, because that's that's a it, it's a it's a pretty uh, interesting scenario. Yeah. Uh, and the first question, have you put any kind of patent together on this? Oh, I do. Yeah. So I have a patent. It was approved uh, last July. I have an international patent pending. That's looking strong. That's coming through here, um, progressing. Is this is that a utility a utility it is, patent? It, what, what it is patent? a utility patent. Yeah. Great. So so let me understand that for for those that are out there, because you're a scientist, you deal with these things every day. You understand it. You because you mentioned something about freezing and heat transfer. Just say it one more time exactly what okay, happened. So, so, sure. You said, sure. I mean, most of the time, food sure, comes sure. to so, you hot. So, so to from, do, you know, to from, do from, your, from some, yeah. although obviously it's sometimes cold. Go ahead. To do your due diligence, the, the, the three terms, the main thermodynamic principles you're going to want to focus on the dew point temperature. This device is installed frozen, so it forces uh, condensation because it'll always be below the dew point temperature. Um, 
uh, latent heat of fusion. That is the heat absorbed through melting. Okay, you'll want to remember that. Then you have the latent heat of vaporization. That's the heat released during condensation. So those three key thermodynamic terms, you're going to want to look those up when you do your due diligence to understand the science. That's what's really happening. And, and you're right. So I've been in aerospace doing thermodynamic analyses for uh, over 30 years. So I've worked on, you know, Jet engines, I have patents on jet engines, and I worked on Paul Allen's giant rocket plane on those systems. Uh, the, the new B-21 bomber, I did uh, the, uh, the thermodynamic uh, uh, management system on that. Um, so I, Great. thermodynamics is, uh, that's my niche. So, the, so, so for the consumer out there, so a, a, a restaurant is, is putting some um, food in a, in a, in a styrofoam container that's going to be yeah. delivered. A lot of delivery yeah. going on. You got this, the whole you know, Uber Eats. Yeah. I, I, I do Uber Eats yeah. you know, a couple of days a week when I'm lunch, dinners, whatever. So the food is hot. It's, it's being put in there. You, they, they're, they want to put one of your stick on pro, uh, products. It, it's frozen. Correct. Right? Correct. So it'd be the last stage in the food prep. Your food is it's going down the line. Everything's being put into the container. The last thing you do before you close the container is, you, you stick this thing in uh, right before you close the lid. Okay. So it, it goes in frozen. Now that, that sounds counterintuitive. I, I, I mean, it like you, you've got all this hot food that you want to get to the house yeah. hot, but you're sticking something frozen inside this so, uh, container, right? That, that so that's what's correct. happening right away. So, so, so immediately because we have this, this, this patch, it's below the dew point temperature. So moisture is drawn to it out of the air. And so as that happens, it's a balanced you know, proportion of ice. It's not a tremendous amount of uh, material that, that's frozen. And we know, we can predict how much condensate will be extracted. And so we just make sure that the ice content is balanced against the condensate that we know we're going to extract. So is the ice attracting the yes. moisture? Okay. And, and is this as it's melting or what, what, you know, what, why does so, that happen again? So you, why does the, right, so, yeah. so the, the big thing, the temperature is what's drawing the moisture. We need to be below the dew point temperature, but the, the, the real okay. thermodynamic work happens in the phase change. When you change from, from gas to liquid, or when you change from solid to liquid, this is where the real energy exchange happens. And, and these are the, those terms I was talking about before, latent heat of fusion, latent heat of vaporization. That, those, those, those are constants that are known. And we balance those by, by the mass, the mass of the ice that we've added and the mass of the condensate that we know we will extract. And so, so the condensate, again, releases heat. And, and ounce for ounce, the heat released through condensation is more than the heat absorbed through the melting ice. So, so I mean, you can, that's the thermodynamics. It's like people don't, they, they miss this, this nuance that, that condensation actually releases heat and more heat than the ice. Of so, it, so in your, in your product, it, there's not only ice, there's a condensate that's in there? Well, we're, we're, it, we're it, it's, it's, so we are relying on the condensation that we will extract. So the condensation is in the, in the box. Your food is putting out this, this gotcha. water vapor and we know we want to extract this and we are relying on that condensation that we will, we will force uh, through the presence of our, our cold spot, which is below the dew point temperature. Okay. So, so again, the three gotcha. parts, yeah. Yeah. No, the, the science is, uh, it's complex and nuanced. The, the product is so simple, but the science is, you know, it's, it's subtle. Is there any kind of a, now, you know, and I'm, I'm focusing here on your pitch, sure. to, you know, to talk about, you know, structuring a great pitch. So I think, um, you know, what I, I like to see, you know, visuals if possible. What is, is there any visual uh, of a, a speeded up process of something that you could show that the, the your product is sure. absorbing this it, moisture? Right. So, so there, there are four time lapsed videos. Um, that are out there, um, LinkedIn, YouTube, my own websites. Um, yeah, I've got, uh, you know, French fries. I've got um, pizza and uh, chicken tenders. So you can see, you okay. can see side by side. I've got clear containers. One container is treated. The other container is not. And you, you could just, it's like, a, you know, one fogs up horribly very quickly. And the other one stays, you know, crystal clear the whole time. And, and yeah, one, of, one of the worst 
culprits of this this is soggy pizza. I mean, uh, how often do you get you know you get that pizza delivered, open the box up, and it's it's already soggy. Oh yeah. I yeah. mean, it, you know, so so yeah. I mean, it, it's devastating. French fries. Oh, I mean, the worst. It's you know, yeah. there, there's certain foods that don't go well uh, in an Uber Eats situation. You know, fried foods, French fries, pizzas, etc. So there's a huge market for yeah. this. The you know, so 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 there's a scientific reason why it works. You've got a utility patent on it, which is very powerful. Um, have you? Is, is this in? use in a commercial application anywhere yet if you, you have sales or is it still in the, i have kind of the yeah. I, do so I, I have two yeah i have two caterers that are using the product right now um but they're they're using um you know basically prototypes units that i'm manufacturing myself uh you, you know locally but uh i i am 120 days away from full-scale automated production which will give me the capacity to ramp up to a million units a day so uh, that's, right. that's, that is eminent. Okay. The next big question is, um, you know, cost, sure. you know, how do you make this work? Cause if, you know, people like the food guys, the pizza guys, they, if, if they add, you know, 10 cents to the cost of something per, per pizza, that ends up being, you know, billions of dollars. Okay. Uh, over, you know, 10 years or sure. something. Right. How do you, you know, how, how do you, how does this, well, well, so I mean, it, obviously so it's, it, there's a, a trade off of quality versus whatever. Right. Well, but, we'll consider this. Well, a okay. lot of food deliveries um, companies are not delivering certain foods because it doesn't travel well. So you can right. not deliver French fries or, you know, fried chicken or, or what have you um, because you, you know, the quality doesn't meet your standards. Or you can pay, you know, this, it's, it's still very affordable. People are paying $10 to have a Big Mac delivered. All right. You'll pay an extra, you know, 25 cents to make sure that, that, you know, your fries are the way you expect. So uh, yeah. it, it's very so approachable. Is, is, is that a, I mean, is that what kind of cost we're talking about? 25 cents, to, you know, yeah, to, that's, the, that's, to, the, to the, yes. Yeah. yeah. That's where we're starting. That's where we're starting. Give or take. And I don't want to focus on, okay. on the cost. I'd rather focus on the value, but, uh, people are always going to ask that question and you just, yeah, that's the ballpark. Yeah. I mean, look, at the end of the day, I, I got you, you know, it's look, the cost focus on the value that, you know, that's the sale to the, you know, the end user, which is the food, you know, uh, purveyor. But it, at the same time, at some point, they need to understand it in a P&L fashion that it's, if you focus on what it does, it could increase their sales because they're going to get repeats, they're going to get up, up, they're going to be able to sell products that currently aren't being sold because it, you know, people aren't ordering these things through delivery. Um, you know, question the, the um, it, is there a way to pass this on to the consumer? You know, it, it, it's kind of tough to say, hey, we'll deliver you some fried chicken for 25 cents extra if you cover the cost of this product that will keep it, you know, crispier when it gets there. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, you know, so you can have an option. Can, you can have an option in the app that just says, I want the preferred packaging. You, you click on this button and you, you get that. Right. And yeah. That would be an easy way. Gotcha. So you have this in prototype form. You're, you've got it being used in various, um, um, just yeah. you know, kind of, these are caterers, uh, so startup kind of things, yeah. caterers, that's good. Um, and, and you think within four months, you're going to have the, you know, the, cons uh, let's call it the consumer yeah. product, um, it, it, it available. Yeah, less also. than, <laughs> correct. Yeah. Um, now is there any direct to the consumer application of this or would, I mean, it's, is it primarily a B2B? Uh, so, so I'll tell you the, the consumer, uh, market is the biggest market. But there's that education that, that goes along with that. Uh, you know, I'm going after the consumer market last. I'll start with B2B, and, and that includes, of course, food delivery, but also room service um, and, you know, things like that. People get used to the product, get used to seeing it. Um, if you start seeing the product at, uh, in supermarkets, at Costco, that's going to require a lot of education support and, uh, you know, live in-store demos. And, and um, I definitely want that market. It's a massive market. But I'm going after that market last just because of the burden of, of that 
that that education. Yeah, got you. Okay, good. And um, so, how much have, have you invested personally so far between yourself, whatever you've raised, or whatever? In, in uh, the project? so yeah, so um, you know, I've bootstrapped this thing so far. I'm uh, uh, just about up to a hundred thousand dollars. So and this okay. and this is a product that I made <clears throat> fifteen years ago. I made this product for my own lunch. It was only with this this gig economy with food delivery that I recognized the the potential. And so, uh, yeah, yeah, a lot of prototyping with patent lawyers. Yeah. And and you you have a a, a business plan on this also? Um, I, I do. Um, it's I think people don't often read business plans, but uh, yeah, this is this is well thought out. I mean, I'd like to see the business plan, and I'm just wondering because um, just you know one. One, um, you know, I know, you, you know, you started by saying you're a scientist, you're going to, you know, give me the science behind it. And that's great. At the end of the day, yeah. um, you know, as an investor, yeah. one of the things I look for, yes, I look for the science, but I also, also think what's the market. So, sure. you know, I mean, hey, we're sitting here in the morning, Uber's going public today. Yeah. Uber Eats is one of their big assets. Mm -hmm. There's there's, you know, a, a, a very significant number of delivery services now on a global basis. So this this is the marketplace that you're getting into yeah. here um, and and the opportunity to create something very powerful is tremendous. Yeah. Um, and so I think building I, I assume that you've touched on this in your business plan, yeah. you know, the, the power of this, you know, the, you mentioned gig economy, yeah. Uber economy, yeah. delivery, et cetera, et cetera. So let, you know, I think that's a key thing to be focusing on and, um, and, 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 uh, you know, the opportunity is, is tremendous. I think, you know, my in investing uh, strength has been more in the B2C side sure. of the business because I have the ability to take someone's product, someone pitching me right now, their personal product and putting it up on the internet, mm. putting it on yep. Facebook, putting it on TV and, and testing it right sure. away. It's a little bit more difficult doing the test in the fashion that, that you're working in because I mean, okay, you're working with some food caterers. You know, it's it. These are a little bit more difficult sales to make, obviously, mm -hmm. getting to an Uber Eats, mm -hmm. getting to, you know, the big delivery, the door dashes, mm -hmm. et cetera. Uh, but, you know, this is what we need to do. We need to help you as an entrepreneur take this to the next level. So, um I would uh, definitely uh, like to uh, explore this further with you. W what part of the world do you live in? I'm in the Phoenix, Southwest. Phoenix? Yeah. Okay, great. Um, it, you know, travel-wise, um, you know, I'm, I'm in Phoenix. I'm in L.A. I'm yeah. in, you know, all over the place on a regular basis. Um, this particular uh, coming up schedule, uh, got more some East Coast stuff. I'm going to be hanging uh, uh, Dallas, New York, mm -hmm. um, et cetera. For the next few, um, um, the um, next few, uh, uh, a couple of weeks. Uh, then we got Memorial Day. Yeah. Let Let's try to um, let's try to get uh, get together here in the next couple of weeks. Um, if you could get your business plan. Also, you mentioned those videos. You are they on your website of the the, the fog and the steam and all of that? Well, um, Is that on your website. So I'm, I'm overhauling my website right now. I'm doing a SEO conversion. And so they'll certainly be up on the, uh, the, the new version. Uh, those, those videos are available on YouTube and then on my LinkedIn account. So, okay. So would you, would you send those links to, um, to our, um, to Diana sure. at pitch investors live yeah. so she can get them to me and then we'll, um, we'll continue to process this. And, it, and right now, do you have any uh, people as part of your advisory board? I do. So if you, you talked about business and look, I am a science guy. I'm, I'm worried about blind spots. Uh, I, I have been involved in other startups where I was the primary in you know, the technology guy, the CTO, uh, VP of engineering like that. But uh, I've got uh, a, a great uh, business advisor. He was a business professor at uh, Thunderbird University. I've got great finance people, um, you know, marketing people. A lot of them are, uh, you know, pay to play consultants, which is, you yeah, know, I think I think a great great way to start. Um, so, great. Okay, so um, I'll um, uh, I'm going to be back in my office. I've been on the road for sure. a few weeks. I'm going to be back in my office yeah. on on Tuesday next week for a couple of days, 
So I'll, I'll, I'll sit with my team and we'll be back to you within the next seven days um, Beautiful. to uh, give you some thoughts on, on moving forward. But um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for you and, and I appreciate the opportunity here. It's, it's a, you know, it's a, it's a B2B to, B to B play that needs to get folks involved. And, and I think you're, you know, having utility patent is a great first step here. So congratulations. Oh, Look forward to following up with you, Bill. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, thanks. All right. Thanks, Evan. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Yeah. You too. Bye. Bye.